A few days ago, I wanted to create something new, especially a night scene. Earlier, I made at a night street driving scene, and many of you loved it. So today, I will show you how to create a night scenes in Blender in simple way. Watch till the end, so you don't miss anything. And don't worry, I will explain everything clearly. So we'll we use AI reference image generate images from tools like ChatGPT or Gemini. It's help so you can understand properly and make that thing. And I will divide it this tutorial into three parts: modeling. Texturing and lighting. So we will start with modeling. And remember, the modeling isn't hard. It just needs to practice. And you know, I can't create the detailed tutorials like this. The last one I made the house because the my workspace is going to on work. Like once my workspace is fully ready, having even more detailed tutorials for you and full course also. So don't worry. Also later in this video, I will show you how can you create any 3D model with just one click. So we will talk about that too. So we start from modeling. When you open a blender, you will see that default cube. So I turn this cube into house. Shape by adjusting few vertices, increasing the size, adding loop cut the center. Then I duplicate the face and delete one side. So it uh, shape to the house. Now come to the most important part, the mirror modifier. See, I can't explain the full de on details, okay? Like the modeling. The major part is mirror modifier I use uh, to creating the house. So focus on that. Just cut to one side and add the mirror modifier. Adjust X, Y, Z, like click on check uh, if needed. And whatever you do one side will automatically apply the other side, which saves a lot of time to doing that the extra modeling things. Next, I add the ground. So ground is simple, okay, add a ground, make it plain and scale it according to the scene and then set up the camera. It's according to the scene, so shift plus A and you can add a camera. After that I model extra elements like petrol, gas station is simple way, use boolean modifier for windows. I already explained in the last video how to use boolean modifier on windows or doors. So check it out and use loop cuts and array modifiers for wooden plank and details and uh, the like floor, the dirty wooden planks, the pipes, the boards, the paper and all things that I just add loop cuts and make the thing. I fix a few extra parts near the roof, created one roof tile and use array to cover whole roof. Just add array modifier and increase the count. After that I mirror into another side of the house. With a few final touches, I think our modeling is almost complete. But now let's talk about something really interesting. While searching online, found this amazing website called Tripoe, and honestly, it's incredible for 3D artists. Here you can create 3D models, apply SD, 4K textures, split models into parts, rig them, animate them, and so much more. I will show you how it works. Once you open the website and sign up, simply go to the 3D workplace. You will see many options on that website, but we are going to use image or text to 3D. If you already have an image, you can upload it or you can even generate image using prompts. If you want even better accuracy, Tripo 3.0 Ultra also support multi-view generation. So instead of using just one image, you can upload image and Tripo makes all four sides image for you. We'll also combine them to create a much more precise and detailed 3D model. This is extremely useful when you want clean proportions, accurate shapes. After uploading the image, you can adjust the setting like mesh resolution. I think another really helpful feature is that uh, Trip also lets you generate low poly models like uh, you can use again. So if you are make working games, real time engines or need performance friendly assets, you can simply switch to low poly. This way you get clean typology models that lightweight and easy to use. You can even generate the model in separate parts if you want. Then click generate and within a second you will create a fully usable 3D model for you. Once the model is generated, you see the different sections like overview, segmentation, uh, retypology and textures. And uh, we do one of my favorite parts. In the Tripo 3.0, Ultra is introducing a new texture like texturing system with the Ultra HD texture modes. Tripo doesn't just apply texture, it's actually generate high, accurate, well-aligned textures with properly details, depth and surface definition. And the best part is, it keeps the textures clean and production ready. So even if you import 
them directly into Blender or any other software, they already look amazing. For textures, you will get three options, okay? But I highly recommend it using HD texture, especially with the latest 3.0 3.0 update. It's great, extremely accurate, high quality textures with proper alignment. Just enable HD textures, hit generate, and in a few seconds, you will get beautiful realistic textures. So using the same method, I created my petrol pump model, road cones, and even in the car. The best part is that below you get export option and you can export your model in almost any 3D format and use it any 3D software easily. You also get some really powerful tools like magic brush, paint or fix your models, textures upscale, PBR generator for realistic material and even stylus option where, where you can turn your model into Lego style, voxel style, Verona style, this style and more all with one click. It's also a one interesting feature also, the lock frame. See, you can generate a character from text or images, okay? Apply HD textures on it and even add animations. And of course, the lock frame export feature is use super useful. You can generate an animated character, freeze any animation frames you like and export that expect pose as a static model. For artists and studios, this is extremely powerful for quick creativity work. So if you are a 3D artist, freelancer or working with clients. Tripu Air can seriously speed up your workflow while you're maintaining high quality. It has a both free and paid plans and if you use my link in the description so you will get extra credit to try it out. Definitely check out Tripu Air and try it and if you create something cool tag me on Instagram I would love to see it. So uh, get to the back on video. So after I finish all models I exported each one in GBL format and then I import all three models back into Blender and place them exactly where I want it in this scene. Once everything was uh, positioned properly, I start working on the texturing part. See, the texturing part is more important. If you make uh, any model or any scene or any interior scene, any of you make in Blender or any other software, if you not put the good textures on it, it's not look good, it's not look clean. After you try anything but without proper textures it will not look good. So if you want to see complete detailed process step by step you can check my previous video okay. Like uh, not explain but you can see whole process of my texturing. The textures, the paint textures, mix them, align them or not. So we start by texturing the ground okay. I applied the raw textures and adjust the UV. So it fit properly. But still make it look more natural and blended so I use texture pen. So first I apply one texture from Blender Kit okay and I make sure the UV look good always okay. Then I went into the shader editor, copy the shader node, expect the material output, group them and added another ground texture. After that I select all shader node and press ctrl G to group them and then press tab go inside the group. Make sure to enable box projection and set blend around 0.3. Then connect UV mapping properly to object coordinates. Then I added mix shader and mix color. Connect the first texture and connected displacement to the mix color right now. Right now the both textures overlap. So we need to paint between textures A and B. For that I simply added image textures named paint duplicate the mix shader and mix color setup also make sure uh, all shaders are correctly connected to the final surface and displacement outputs now when the image texture is selected just switch to the texture paint mode paste x to switch a painting mode and you uh, and you can easily paint a blend textures and paint it the entire around this way But to finish the ground, after texture the rest of models one by using Blender and yes, always remember to adjust UV properly in the UV editor. Good UVs are extremely important if you want to clear and realistic textures. So we move to the lighting. Lighting is the most important part in Blender or any other scene. Without lighting, the scene was not look good also. After that, there are mainly three simple ways to light. If you create interior, outdoor, outer environment or any other scene, I think it's my opinion, okay, the only three lighting, the environment light like using sky textures, 
sunlight and hdr light but this time i use a special head on its name and links are in the description there are tutorials available on youtube as well i used that add on and made a few adjustment like create this beautiful clouds uh it's very simple so don't worry just download it and try it and you will easily create a great cloud lighting then i added a grass some small plants tree using g scatter and few props for the lighting around the gas station of roof i selected the face where i wanted to light add another material slot and assign it then i turn into a emission material increase the strength set the color and with bloom enable it created really nice glow you can also use area light or paint lights or so if you want after that i added fog i will make a separate detailed tutorial on fog very soon but for now here is the simple method add a cube scale it and cover the whole scene go to material tab delete the principal base depth and add volume or principal node slightly reduce the density and you will immediately see the difference it easily but very effective then i added a keyframe on the camera like i add a simple zoom animation after that i did some compositing blender and yes the latest blender 5.0 it's already a compositing pre made tabs you can put on them direct i use just a glare less distortion not too much just sharpness and did a final finishing in davinci resolve also i use davinci resolve you can download it free you can use if you are 3d artist and that's how animation together so i will keep bring more detail part wise blender tutorials so stay tuned for it for your clearing blender doubts and yes make sure to check out tripoya as well it really help speed up your workflow with high quality designs so that's it for this video so drop the comment if you like that video or not so i can make another one to best tutorial for you i will meet you in next one bye